Welcome to the Water Use It Wisely online home water challenge. Today you'll learn some basic things you can do, both inside and outside your home, to help you save water and reduce your monthly water bills. Most importantly, you're going to see how easy it is to save surprisingly large amounts of water by making just a few simple changes or adjustments. Oh, and this thing here, it's our 136-gallon water pyramid. Believe it or not, it represents the amount of water an average Arizonan uses every day. That adds up to somewhere in the neighborhood of three to 400 gallons of water per home per day. Incredible, huh? So if you're ready, let's get started with a trip to the bathroom. We're going to start in the shower. The easiest way to save water here is by simply shortening your shower by a minute or two each day. Believe it or not, this can save up to 150 gallons per month. Keeping your shower time to five minutes or less is one of the easiest things you can do every day to save thousands of gallons a year. Another great way to save water in the shower is to replace old shower heads with a newer two gallon per minute model. The average household can reduce their water use by over 2,000 gallons a year with these low flow heads. What's more, they save energy as well because a lot of the water you save in the shower is hot water. Since we're here in the bathroom, let's talk about another place you can save lots of water. The toilet. Toilets typically account for nearly 30% of your indoor water use, so this is a great place to save. The first thing we should all do is check to see if our toilet is leaking. First, listen for leaks. If you can hear your toilet running long after you've flushed it, it means you have a leak and the water is constantly running, trying to keep the tank full. Sometimes you can't hear a leak, so another way to check is by using food coloring. Put a few drops in the tank and wait 20 minutes. If you see color in the bowl, you have a leak. Next, think about installing a new WaterSense approved toilet. WaterSense is a new Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA sponsored program, that puts fixtures through rigorous laboratory testing to rate them for both performance and efficiency. It's similar to the Energy Star rating system. Replacing an older toilet with a high efficiency WaterSense model can save up to 4,000 gallons per year. Okay, let's talk some more about leaks. They can be small and hard to notice, but leaks both inside and outside of your home can be huge water wasters. Even without leaks, faucets account for about 15% of indoor water use. But a dripping faucet can make that number grow a lot larger. Fixing a faucet leak can save hundreds of gallons a month, and it's a lot easier than you might think. This is another key place you should be looking for leaks, out in your yard. In fact, during Arizona summers, up to 70% of household water use occurs out here. So this is a key place to find big savings. For instance, when was the last time you noticed a leak outdoors? They can go unseen for months or even years. Look for soggy spots in the lawn or wet areas around valves or in valve boxes. And keep an eye on your water meter. Try turning off all water using items both inside and outside the house, including dishwashers, washing machines, and pool and irrigation systems. If your water meter is still moving with everything turned off, you probably have a leak. Combine an outdoor leak with the water that can be wasted by broken or misguided sprinkler heads, and you're talking huge amounts of water loss. Thankfully, this too can be a pretty easy fix. Oftentimes, it's as simple as adjusting your sprinkler heads to make sure you're not watering sidewalks, patios, or driveways. They're not gonna grow any bigger with water. Learning to adjust or replace a sprinkler head can make a big difference in the amount of water your yard consumes and how good it looks. And while we're out here, let's talk about one last place where you can save more water than anywhere else, your outdoor water timer. Yes, the timer can look a bit complicated at first, but there are a few simple things we can do to minimize frustration and keep your yard watered with the right amount of water at the right time of day in the right season of the year. So how does your water use stack up? Did you see places where you can improve? Whether it's your bathroom, kitchen, or out in your yard, it's really all about taking a few minutes to observe, assess the situation, and make the necessary adjustments, fixes, or changes. And remember, you can find lots of additional water-saving tips at the 100 Plus Ways to Conserve section of this website. One last tip we'd like to leave you with is for you to share all the water-saving information you've learned today with your friends and neighbors. Because if everyone learns to save a little water, we can all save a lot. 
Now to get you started, here are some links to learn more about all the ways to save shown in this tour, plus additional tips you can find here at wateruseitwisely.com slash Arizona. Thanks for your time, and thank you for making water conservation a priority in your home. Remember, there are a number of ways to save water, and they all start with you.